What's happening, guys? It's your girl, Andy Crimson, and welcome back to Mukbangs and Hangs, the weekly eating show where I talk about everything from ghosts to TV shows to whatever's on my mind. Today, we're going to be having some Black Bear Diner for dinner. They have these new sandwich melts out. It's supposed to be really cheesy, and they're available until like May 25th, I think. So I want to try them out for you guys and see if I like it. And if you feel convinced, I urge you to check them out. So here we go. Okay. So first impressions, I'm a little thrown off because uh, the videos and promotional photos I've seen, they sandwiches look like a little bit, you know, bigger, uh, more present. I know they, they probably slid a little bit. You can tell. Look at this glob of cheese right here, guys. So the presentation is a little, ooh, look at that. It's a little less than desirable. This is going to be like a, a cheeseburger. It's got like a some parmesan crusted on this bread, beef patty, cheese. It's supposed to have a bacon jam inside. So I'm kind of excited to try that. But yeah, um, first impressions, I am not that impressed. It looks a little thin. I, I thought it would be a little bit thicker, but let's see if it tastes good. I have some ketchup here. I also just I had some leftover Polynesian sauce that I'm going to use for the fries. We gotta take a thumbnail and get this open. So let's do the thumbnail. Cheesiness. Now that's out of the way, we can dig in. We're gonna go with this one. It's like loaded with cheese. First bite. And by the way, this is called, I don't know if I mentioned, it's called the Weeby Jammin' Burger Sandwich. First bite. Mm. Very, very cheesy. Oh, I definitely taste the, the Parmesan crust here. That taste reminds me of like a cheese stick from like Mr. Gaddy's. I do taste a little bit of the bacon. It's not as, I thought it was going to be more like of a jam spread. There are some bacon pieces in there. Um, it's all right. A little bit greasy, very cheesy, toasty. We'll see how I feel about it along the way. Again, with my fresco over here. Let's try some fries. These fries are a little plain. They're not seasoned. Mm. I don't know about this, guys. Maybe right now I tasted a little bit of um, a sweetness, like the jam. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. So guys, I finally caught up on all my trash TV, my love is blind stuff on Netflix. They were supposed to have this last episode live, taped live, and I don't know, stuff, when stuff's going live, it just doesn't normally work out. Apparently they just, it crashed. And then when they finally uploaded it or started filming, um, the subtitles were off, it was glitchy. Like I didn't enjoy watching it because it was just full of problems. And the fact that it was kind of cringy. I mean, it's reality TV, but still, I don't know, a lot of people were like unhappy. And it kind of reminded me of when the ghost fans crashed Spotify Live, which it's not our fault that there's so many of us. Oh, did you see? I don't know. I got like an email that they're doing away with the Spotify Live app or they're going to re 
reboot it or something. I was like, yeah, that was like super disappointing when that live event crashed for Ghost. I know that it was said or I don't know if it was official that Tobias was like upset that that had happened. Look at this cheese. There's like a fry stuck in the cheese. Cheese pool. Say that for later. If I'm being completely honest, I feel a little bit let down by this sandwich. On the fries too, I mean, they're a little squishy, they're not seasoned. In theory, I guess it would have worked out. Um, I don't know how much cheese or the effect of having, I'm melting in the cheese pool, you could have if like vegetables were in the sandwich. I would have personally preferred like tomato and lettuce. It does feel like a, a meaty grilled cheese, which I guess was the point. Like I, this is pretty good. Like the bread is really toasty. I like how crunchy it is with that Parmesan crust. That's fine, but advertising the bacon jam when really, really it just tastes, it just has, to me, it just has like meat and cheese and some parts of bacon in there. To not have it. Mm. It's a little underwhelming in that regard. So this weekend, I decided to go check out these shops that I've been meaning to go check out locally. And um, I don't think before I, on one of my mukbangs, I talked about, you know, how I feel about being in public spaces when there's a lot of people. And I'm kind of, I'm fine, like, being by myself, like, going out and doing things, like an errand or something. But, like, it was this market that I went to because I was trying to get to a certain store. And I don't know, it was fine. Like, you know, I was friendly to people. They were friendly back. But it just feels kind of, I don't know, those type of situations, especially that it was indoors, it just kind of like gave me like a, mm, like I'd rather not be there. Or maybe it's because I wasn't with like friends or family or something, so it felt a little bit awkward. But then I went to my second stop and it was just me and the owner and that was pretty chill. Like I got to look around and talk. It was a nice experience. I was just going to these places because one was a vintage shop and I wanted to find like a gothic like chalice, a cup for like a prop in a video and uh, maybe like an outfit, some kind of piece, like a top or something, a new top. But unfortunately I didn't find anything. I did find probably almost the perfect chalice but she wasn't selling them individually, it was a set and I was like no I just need one. 
Look, I'm telling you, this presentation is just not it. Like there's literally, I see maybe where there could have been some jam. This is like oily, but it just feels like it's not there. So by the time this video comes out the finale of the mandalorian will be out as well i'm super excited i'm sad i'm worried i don't know what's gonna happen are they gonna continue with more seasons spoiler alert in the last episode it was titled the spies so i'm wondering who the spy is i've been seeing like a lot of stuff on tiktok you know all the theories that could be happening i'm just like <gasps> I guess the better thing about this sandwich, like certain bites with the Parmesan crust remind me of those, like a pizza crust or the cheese sticks from, from Mr. Gaddy's. I think that's the only thing that I really like about it. So, next week's mukbang will officially be the birthday mukbang. My birthday's on a Thursday this year. So, I'm gonna have a special meal, maybe some dessert. I don't know. And I'll just be like, I don't have a plan yet for this video, but then we'll just have some musings about turning a new age, getting older. Well, guys, I don't know. This is going to be something else. Like, there's parts about it that I like, but in general, it's just like an underwhelming experience for me. So... Like I said, first of all, presentation was whack. Fries are whack. <laughs> um, I expected more, like especially with the jam part. Um, it's like the classic, it doesn't look like it, how it's advertised. So that plays a role. There's just too much, not enough balance. I'm not going to say too much cheese because there's some dishes that, well, they're meant to have a lot of cheese, but there's like things to balance everything out to make it for a better experience to where it's not overpowering. <laughs> and I feel like the concept of this was good, but this particular one was just not it for me. I mean, it's not horrible, like I'm eating it and finishing it, but I think I've had better sandwiches, better hamburgers. So with that being said, we're going to give it a 4 out of 10 because there was nothing really special about it in my opinion.
um, I know I said in the beginning, oh, you should probably go try them out and see what happens, but another one of these might be okay. I know they have like a breakfast one and then they just have a plain loaded grilled cheese and paired with some maple tomato, maybe tomato soup would be good, but this one was like underwhelming. So I probably, I wouldn't get this again. And somebody needs to tell people, don't be afraid to throw a bunch of pepper on the fries or some kind of fry seasoning. Make them a little bit crispier. Because that's how I like them. These fries are just, whoa, amateur. But yeah, that was my take on the Weeby Jam and Sandwich from Black Bear Diner. I just want to try it out, see how it goes, because these they're being featuring these sandwiches until the middle of May. So I don't know. I wouldn't have it again. You can try it out. Try the breakfast one. I have this breakfast one. But yeah, that's the mukbang. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I appreciate all your support. <coughs> I hope to see you all next time. And just keep uh, following me on Instagram if you are or Go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be hosting the Ghost 3K giveaway pretty soon. The numbers are slowly climbing up. I'm excited because I've got some cool prizes for you guys. And once that number gets ticked, then I'm going to release some kind of video, some kind of cool post, hopefully announcing the giveaway and the prizes. So, and that's it for me, guys. I will see y'all next time.